hello guys welcome once more to our youtube channel today we are looking at northwest mob 2023 physics we are continuing our revision process and we hope that you enjoy some physics before going into rock physics on thursday let's go okay guys like we always do right you pause the video you attempt the problem if you don't get it right then we'll talk about it when i solve it okay state two ways in which units are important in measurement of course you want to be able to quantify physical quantities okay so um how much do you weigh how do i quantify your weight or oh, i need units to quantify that okay and then uh to facilitate experimentation and scientific practice among scientists across the globe that scientists that that this is a terrible error right i i really love grammar and i hate these errors so that's that's among scientists there so of course uh you want to make sure that a particular scientist carries out an experiment another one is able to reproduce that experiment of the un the physical quantities that were measured in their respective units that another scientist did the experiment with right so that really facilitates experimentation scientific work across and among scientists uh we'll, we can also talk about the physical quantities that are being measured how do you know which physical quantities may be measured you need units Imagine that I just said, hey, you weigh 15. That doesn't make, or hey, you, you are 15. So we don't know if that's your weight or that's your height or that's your whatever. So, so in order to be able to know what physical quantities we are measuring, you need to attach the units to the measured values. Okay, perfect. So let's go over to B. The part B says, well, you have this expression. I've just expanded and sent in how far in there. So you notice that for homogeneity says, well, for a particular equation to be homogeneous, every added term should have the same base unit. So uh, the base unit of alpha here has to be equal to the base unit of Q, right? So you notice that base unit of alpha is basically base unit of Q, which is what? Ampere second, since Q comes from I times T. So you have ampere second there. We can go over and then talk about the base unit of all of this power like that the base unit of this power has to be equal to one okay so you have t over beta r equals one so again what is better better is basically t over r right there and so the base unit of better would basically be the base unit of t over the base unit of r and what is t is the second what is r remember that r comes from power equals i squared r so arrow there will simply be power over i squared, right? So power is force times velocity. That gives us kilogram meters per second squared multiplied by meters per second, which gives us kilogram meters squared per second cube. So you have to divide that by ampere squared, which is per ampere squared right here. So that's that's the SI unit of resistance. And then we can simplify this to get the base unit of beta. So if you simplify this, so this per kilogram goes up, becomes per kilogram. This meter squared goes up, becomes per meter squared s to the power negative 3 goes up becomes s to the power 3 must plus with this s we have s to the power 4 per ampere squared goes up becomes ampere squared so those are our si units for better 